All right, thank you guys. Go ahead and fast forward to the uh, end of the video if you want to see all my picks right away and if you want to save yourself some time. But anyway, if you want to stick around and uh, kind of dive into these games, I'd be more than happy uh, if you did that. So let's go ahead and start with Iowa State taking on Kansas, and that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff this Saturday. The Cyclones of Iowa State are the 28-point favorite. Totals 52. We're 4-1 and one in our last five daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And access to the daily best play costs just $1.99. We're also hitting at 60% in our last 10 extra daily picks on that site as well. And access to the extra daily pick costs just $2.99. We currently have over 790 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and... Um, yeah, get it on the action. Link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. The Kansas Jayhawks are plus 1,600 for an upset win. They're also 0-5 straight up on the season, 0-5 against the spread in those contests. They've scored 17 points or less in their last four straight, 13 points a game they've averaged during that stretch. The Jayhawks are also giving up 45 points a game for the entire season. Kansas has, uh, they're just, uh, <laughs> you know, they're Kansas. And they have just five sacks on the season and just one measly interception. Their trio of quarterbacks are also completing just 58% of their passes and they throw for just 148 yards a game. The Jayhawks have just three passing touchdowns on the season. Meanwhile, their offensive line is... Uh, giving up 24 sacks through five contests. Kansas has also thrown six interceptions. Now, Deneen, Jones, and Daniels are all questionable for Kansas. They're taking on an Iowa State squad who's won three out of their last four contests themselves with marquee wins over the likes of TCU, Oklahoma, and Texas Tech. They also successfully covered the point spread in two out of their last three. The Cyclones are rushing for nearly 190 yards a game and their leading rusher, Brees Hall, has already 716 yards on the ground. Now, Hall's averaging 6.3 yards a carry and nine touchdowns rushing. This Iowa State defense also has 13 sacks on the season and four interceptions. Linebacker Mike Rose has a pair of interceptions from that linebacker spot, 40 total tackles on the year as well. The other linebacker, Jake Hummel, also has 40 tackles on the season, two PBUs. And defensive end, Will McDonald currently leads the program in sacks with four and a half. Now, Lang and Milton are both questionable for Saturday. And when it comes to the total in this one, two out of the Cyclones' last four contests got over the posted number. Meanwhile, the Jayhawks on the other side saw all five of their contests get over the number themselves. Just keep in mind that they're once again giving up 45 points a game. So with all that said and done, give me the Iowa State Cyclones uh, minus 28. And the over 52 in that ball game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for uh, Big 12 action, uh, college football week nine. But before we go ahead and dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, just got to quickly remind you uh, once again that we are 4 and 1 in our last five daily best plays on Patreon dot com slash Brock page and once again access to that content costs just one dollar and ninety nine cents incredible value one dollar and ninety nine cents we're also hitting at sixty percent in our last ten extra daily picks on that site as well that's an that's a different package and access to the extra daily pick costs just two dollars and ninety nine cents it's like a free for all um they're basically uh well they're really, really inexpensive. Now, we currently have over 790 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join them and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, we're going to take a look at Kansas State uh, taking on West Virginia, 12 p.m. Eastern start time. The West Virginia Mountaineers are the three and a half point favorite at home. Totals 46 flat. The Wildcats of K-State are plus $1.50 for some money line cash. 
Now, these Kansas State quarterbacks have completed just 59% of their passes this season. The Wildcats are also throwing for less than 240 per contest. Parker, Thomas, Thompson, and Beebe are all questionable for K-State. And, of course, true freshman quarterback Will Howard's going to have his hands full taking on a Mountaineer squad who's won two out of their last three. And that's going to include a 27-21 victory over Baylor. They actually held the Bears to just seven points through three quarters of play in that ball game. Now, this Mountaineer defense has 18 sacks on the season, six interceptions as well. Uh, they've been very opportunistic in spots defensively. And, of course, uh, you know, you got to think of linebacker, you know, Tony Fields, who has 38 tackles on the season and a pick. Safety Alonzo Adai also has a pair of interceptions himself, 35 total tackles. And big Akeem Mesidor has four sacks on the season, 17 total tackles for Akeem. Meanwhile, offensively, West Virginia is rushing for 5.8 yards a carry and seven touchdowns. Um, they got a guy who's totaled uh, 592 yards on the ground already through five games. Now, this Mountaineer rushing attack has already scored a dozen times on the ground as well. West Virginia's 3-0 straight up in Morgantown this year, 3-0 against the spread in those ball games. Now, Cowan and Fields are both questionable for this West Virginia uh, defense. Now, total-wise, the Mountaineers' last two straight games got over the post at total. Two out of their last three home games got over the line as well. Meanwhile, Kansas State on the other side of things, uh, once again, despite having a, uh, a true freshman quarterback at the helm right now, they did see three out of their last five get over the number themselves. So with all that said and done, give me the West Virginia Mountaineers minus three and a half and the over 46 in that contest. All right, next matchup, it is going to be TCU squaring off against Baylor, and that's going to be a 3.30 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, the Horned Frogs of Texas Christian, they're the three-point favorite with a total at 48 flat. Baylor's plus a buck 15 for some money line cash. Now, Baylor successfully covered the point spread in two out of their last three, certainly doing a good job against the number in their past uh, several weeks. They are taking on a TCU squad who's on a two-game losing streak themselves, they've kind of been struggling, and they scored just 14 points a game in those uh, two losses. TCU's also just one and three straight up on the year, and they failed to cover the number in their last two straight as well. This TCU defense has gotten to the quarterback just five times. Now, uh, Baylor's lone home game on the season did get over the posted number. Meanwhile, TCU's lone road game this season Got over the total as well. Two out of their last four ball games got over the line. So with all that said and done, give me the underdog Baylor Bears plus three and the over 48 in that ball game. All right, <clears throat> next matchup. It is going to be Texas squaring off against Oklahoma State, 4 p.m. Eastern kickoff. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State are the three-point favorite at home. Boone Pickens Stadium totals 58 and a hook. The Texas Longhorns are plus $1.35 for some money line cash on the road. Now, the Longhorns are giving up 40 points a game in their last four contests. They lost two out of their last three ball games. They gave up 50, uh, 53 points to Oklahoma in an overtime loss. They also gave up 33 in a loss to a very lackluster TCU squad. Texas has failed to cover the point spread uh, in their last four straight. Now, Lee Tao, Ingram, and Owens are questionable for this Texas squad. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State on the other side, they are coming fresh off a victory over Iowa State. They actually held them to just seven points in the first half in that one. Now, the Oklahoma State Cowboys are undefeated on this season, a perfect 4-0 straight up, and they uh, are 3-1 against the spread in those contests. So not only are they good in real life, they're good against the number as well, certainly cashing in 75% for their backers. Now, Oklahoma State's rushing for 216 yards per contest, and they have seven touchdowns on the ground already. Running back Chuba Hubbards carried it 94 times for 478 yards and five scores. He's averaging 5.1 yards a carry and a buck 20 a game. LD Brown's also got 37 touches on the ground for the season, 229 yards and a touchdown. Meanwhile, this Cowboy defense is allowing just 
a dozen points a game. They've given up just seven first quarter points all season. They've gotten to the quarterback 15 times already through just four games. Linebacker Calvin Bundich has three and a half sacks on the season and 11 tackles. Safety Trey Sterling actually leads the team in tackles with 28. Oklahoma State has successfully covered the number in seven out of their last eight conference ball games. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, Oklahoma State is 3-0 to the under at Boone Pickens Stadium this season. Meanwhile, the Longhorns on the other side are coming fresh off a game that stayed 19 points below the posted number. Uh, give me the Oklahoma State Cowboys minus three and the under 58 and a half in that game. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be the Oklahoma Sooners squaring off against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. 8 p.m. Eastern kickoff in Lubbock. The Sooners are the 15-point favorite on the road, total 68 and a hook. Texas Tech is plus 425 for an upset win. Now, the Raiders are 2-1 straight up at home, 2-1 against the spread in those ball games. They are coming uh, fresh off a 34-27 victory over West Virginia, where they actually held the Mountaineers scoreless in the fourth quarter to seal the deal there. The Red Raiders throw for over 281 yards per contest, and they have 11 passing touchdowns on the season. Wide out Eric, uh, <laughs> let's try to pronounce this right, Eric Ezukanma has 25 receptions for 342 yards and three scores. And wide out Keyshawn Carter, or Keyshawn Carter, uh, however you want to say it, uh, he also has 21 grabs for 215 yards and four touchdowns himself. Keep an eye on Carter as he's battling injury. Now this Red Raider offense uh, they rush for a buck 49 per contest, and that's mostly thanks to running back Sir Roderick Thompson, who averages 5.5 yards per carry and has five touchdowns on the ground. Keep an eye on him as he's been banged up as well, uh, but I'm looking to see both of those uh, gentlemen play. Now, Tech has successfully covered the number in five out of their last six, hosting the Sooners. And uh, speaking of the Sooners, uh, they're taking on an Oklahoma squad who dropped two out of their opening three games of the 2020 campaign to start the season. They gave up 37 total points to Iowa State in a loss. They also gave up 31 second-half points to K-State to lose that one by a field goal. The uh, Sooners have once again failed to cover the number in five out of their last six in Lubbock. They also gave up 40 points a game on average in their last three, of course throwing out their most recent contest with TCU. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, three out of OU's last four contests got over the posted total. These teams also saw eight out of their last ten meetings get over the number as well. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, we're looking at a Texas Tech Red Raider squad who is 2-1 of the over at home this season. So with all that in mind, give me the underdog Texas Tech Red Raiders plus 15, keeping this one close, and the over 68.5 in that contest. All right, let's go ahead and dive into my quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Iowa State minus 28 and the over 52 in that contest. West Virginia Mountaineers minus three and a half over 46. I also like the Baylor Bears, the underdog Baylor Bears plus three over 48. I'm also leaning toward Oklahoma State minus three under 58 and a hook. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to lean toward the underdog Texas Tech Red Raiders, plus 15, keeping that one close, and the over 68 and a half in that ball game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Wednesday to you, happy hump day to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.